me try creating a thumbnail here. So let's say a guy in the forest running from bear, and then another caption, help me, and another caption, run for your life. Now let's see how it's gonna appear. Let me generate thumbnail, you can see here. Wow, look at that. It instantly have helped me run for your life. Look at that. And you can double the thumbnail. So before we end, we want to see how much we spent to create B. So let's see. We just spent 1.21. So it's not that bad. You created the app that you would have been creating for three days in just a few minutes. And just in exchange for $1.21, I think it's worth it. Using the Opus 4.5, I know that it's been released two days ago. And look at the difference between the Opus 4.5 and Swanet 4.5. There's a huge gap between the performance of these two models from Claude. However, Sonnet 4.5 is already performing as it at its best. And imagine if we are able to utilize Opus 4.5, then we should be getting a really comprehensive application if we want to use this for vibe coding. Now what I want to try, and I want to do this completely beginning till end, until it's going to work, we will create the entire application about AI thumbnail maker and we're gonna market this paying users even though there's thousands of applications already existing but we're gonna apply our experience in marketing such as posting this on Reddit, automating contents using Reddit, doing paid ads as you can see when you do a CPC it will cost you 0 0.99 that means every time a visitor pick your ad you need to pay 0 0.99 but if that visitor converted to a subscription then we should be good it won't be easy, I know, but we will be able to start this gradually. So if this can become an inspiration for you guys, you can follow along. I'll help you uh, with some basic guides on how we're going to determine how this application is going to work. Again, don't worry about if there are a lot of competition. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. This is already existing AI thumbnail maker or you can have YouTube thumbnail maker. I think this one could be better because of the search volume. A lot of people are searching for this. so. In order to start on this one, we will be using the platform WordPress because that's the easiest way to create a framework. And we already have a prompt here that we can just go ahead and add to any vibe coding tool. And this will create the app as long as you just paste the description on how your app will look like. There's a lot of uh, tools we can utilize in order for us to create this application. So we can then make this YouTube thumbnail maker. What I'm gonna do is set up a local WordPress. But this is going to be our plan. So WordPress will be our main framework. I know this is a CMS, but we can make this as our framework because it's easy to manage and we can create contents. So our main application will have a paywall. We will use Gumtree or Stripe. Stripe can be easily implemented, but a lot of countries are not supporting Stripe, but Gumtree can be another alternative or we can have a heap. So this tree payment wall, uh, we can use to create the app and then marketing strategy. We will create subreddit to promote the app. We will do it on Google Ads. So as I was saying, it could cost 0 0.99 or more per visit. So we have to make sure that we have a good conversion rate on this one. It won't be easy. Sometimes we may need to pay more in order to get one subscriber. So this one can be a bit tricky, especially when you don't have experience in doing paid ads. That's why promoting it organically like subreddit or making an organic video will be much better. But this one can just highlight, don't expect to get paying customers out of Google ads. It is just to make visibility or make Google know about your app. So that's our purpose of doing the Google ads to have our site index quickly. So what else? So this will be our initial plan. Main bit of work is creation of the application itself. We can start right away. So first, what you need to do is install local level UP because most of the work will be done here. We will need to buy code using our local computer so that we can fix any issue related to our application. And to do that, we need this application to run a WordPress in our computer. So once you have that installed, this is how it's going to look like. So we're going to add our application now. So this one is create a new site. Click on continue. And here, so make sure the application name is searchable. That means there's search volume. So all these question keywords, you can use this as contents. That's why it's an advantage if we're going to do our application in WordPress. At the same time, we can create these various contents right here, it's articles. So we will do lift the articles because those articles are also one way to attract traffic to your main application. And our main application, we will name it as YouTube Thumbnail Maker. As you can see, it is 1.28 per click. It's quite expensive, but 
again, we will not expect to have Google Ads convert as paid users, but just to make our application, how Google know our application, most of the time we will be using organic to promote the Hamming Maker. So the first thing that you're going to set up is your WordPress framework running on your local. So let's name it as YouTube Thumbnail Maker. So that's going to be our application. Click on continue. So once this is set up, your WordPress is installed. Just make sure you toggle this so that you don't have to enter your credentials when you go to the dashboard. So when I click there, there you go, you can see it's opening. Now let's press to the next step. You need to open a black notepad and copy this prompt right here. This is going to create a basic WordPress theme with our actual application in the home page itself. But this will have the design for the post section, the pages, so that whenever you add articles, it will be properly lay out, laid out. Okay. So we're going to have to copy all this. Now open a blank notepad and paste it right there. We will need to describe how our application will work. So since we are planning to have the YouTube thumbnail maker, we will have the application name as YouTube Nail Maker. And to we'll have the API, you need to get some API sources. The easiest way to do that is go to Please Gen because they have the A to create nano banana image. And you can use nano banana image to turn as YouTube thumbnail. So once you're here, you can uh, click this UAV documentation and you will have your secret key right here. And what I need to do is copy this request. We're going to copy this and then paste that right here. Based on our prompt, it will create basic form and transform that to a thumbnail maker. But we will need to modify the prompt or add some fields. For example, what caption they want in their application. We will need to enhance this. Suppose they want to add a reference image. We have the example DPI call here to do that. But we're going to do that gradually because it will be overwhelming to do this everything at once. And we have to do this properly. We need to make this work until we get our first paying customer. So we will implement all this data, all these steps right here. We are now in this step one. So we will also need to do the important thing with this paywall so that we will earn money. And we have again to find cooling part. So we can have try to create this basic one and enhance this as we go. I'm going to, I'm going to copy this. And from here, you're going to click this VS code. In the open from your local WP, you will have all your WordPress files doing here. We will use God code and select Opus 4.5 as our main model to create the application. Open the integrate terminal here in uh, VS code. So once you have the terminal open, just type God. And when you've been asked to need permission to move this current directory, just say yes. There you go. Now, what we need to do is change our model. So I'm going to type in mock in here. We're going to use the opus that's by default. The default one will be Sonnet 4.5. We selected before Haiku because it's cost effective. Now we will want to try opus. So I'm going to choose the second one. All right. And later we will check how much we're going to spend or we spend when we completed by coding this. So I'm going to copy this and place it right here. And that's all you need. Enter this. Now let's wait for a few minutes. You can see right here, Opus 4.5 completed our request. So this is the summary. Now, what we have to do next, go back to our dashboard and go to appearance, then themes. You should now see our new theme right here, which is this one, YouTube thumbnail maker. And we're going to have to activate this. All right. I think we now have the EFB or the uh, minimum viable product. As you can see here, we are really nice. So we're going to have to add our logo right here and also some other design that will make this app attractive we will need to also add a registration page and we will have to put paywall on this one in order before they will be able to generate thumbnail as you can see here the way we described we now have our create your own thumbnail how to use this to look at this we have the perfectly designed AQ section we have the latest articles right here if you're gonna create an article they will be added here and we have the simple Booker. Now, let me try creating a thumbnail here. So let's say a guy in the forest running from bear. And then uh, add a caption. Help me. Add another caption. Run for your life. Now let's see how it's going to appear. We generate thumbnail. You can see here. Wow, look at that. It instantly help me. Run for your life. Look at that. And you can download the thumbnail. So next step. Maybe in the following video, we will do the paywall. So once we have the paywall, you'll be able to start our marketing strategy, promote the app to Reddit, and hopefully get our first paying customer. And, uh, and Google Ads, just to have visibility in our new app. 
You will need to think about our unique name for the app as well. This is just how our YouTube thumbnail maker, but we're gonna have our phone brand. We're gonna have our logo. So I think uh, that's the simple app you can start. This is just an example, guys. I'm showing you. Before you create an app, there should be a search for you so that you have the idea of the data, how you're gonna start marketing. They have search volume, the competition, and the cost per click. You're gonna do a pay, paid ads. Uh, I think that's about it. So hopefully you get some idea and see you in the next one. Sorry guys, so before we end, we want to see how much we spent to create B. So let's see, we just spent 1.21. So it's not that bad. You created the app that you would have been creating for three days in just a few minutes and just in exchange of $1.21. I think it's worth it and everything looks to be working properly. I think that should be it. Thank you and see you in the next one.